New on sunrise, the frigid cold temperatures are really taking a toll on Illinoisans. And for some, the deep freeze is causing severe cases of frostbite, resulting in amputations. ABC News Channel 20's Alicia Lewis joins us live now. And Alicia, you spoke with a few people who've experienced frostbite. Just how bad is it? It's actually quite shocking. I spoke with two residents yesterday who said they both dressed appropriately for the cold winter weather we've been having lately. They had on a hat, a warm pair of mittens, and some boots. But when it gets this cold, I'm talking about below freezing temperatures, frostbite can happen to anyone and when you least expect it. Now, before you see my story, I want to warn you that some of the images you're about to see are very graphic. This time of year, we normally see an average temperature around 30 degrees. And for the past few weeks, the temperature is far below normal, getting as low as 14 degrees below zero with bone chilling winds. And for some residents, bundling up just wasn't enough. You don't realize it when you're out there, because once your hand goes numb, that's a, that's, a, that's a form of your joints freezing. So that's what happened to me as I was riding my bike. I didn't realize how cold it was. Springfield resident Ramel Wyman has a severe case of frostbite. And although he was wearing gloves on his commute home from work in sub-zero temperatures, it wasn't until he got home that his hands began to blister, which Ramel says is the worst pain he's ever experienced. It's a tingling feeling at first, then it's numbness. Then it's like needles going through your finger constantly at, at a rapid speed, and it's throbbing. So when, it's, when it starts to blister, that's when the pain sets in. And Rommel isn't alone. It stuck up, I made bit me real good. 76-year-old <laughs> John Bacon got a minor case of frostbite on his finger after shoveling outside. I've been out in sub-zero weather and never been bothered. It is the first time in my life that I ever had frostbite. Plastic surgeons at SIU have had more cases of frostbite this winter than ever before, some even resulting in amputations. What happens is that there's a crystallization of fluid around the cells and they start getting damage of their skin. And eventually that can lead to freezing within the vessels themselves and total necrosis of loss of the skin and even further down, going all the way down deep, even through the bone. For Ramel, he has had frostbite once before, but not to this extent. He believes that amputation may be likely, which is a change to his lifestyle he wasn't expecting. It's very much likely this time. I just don't know how many digits have been damaged this time. So I'm, I'm hoping for the best. Frostbite can happen anytime it's below freezing or 32 degrees. Now here are some signs of frostbite. If your skin looks white or a grayish yellow and has a hard or waxy feel, you may have frostbite. If your skin itches, burns, or feels numb, you may also have frostbite. And for severe frostbite, it can cause blistering and hardening, and the most severe, it can cause amputations. Now health officials say the best way if you think you have frostbite is to keep your hands or feet or anything you think has a frostbite in warm water. And if you do think you have some severe frostbite, it's definitely a great thing to do is go seek medical attention right away. Reporting live in Springfield, Alicia Lewis, ABC News Channel 20. Thank you, Alicia. And doctors at SIU tell us they've treated three people with frostbite this week alone who have needed amputations. So of course, make sure you're dressing up warm outside.